When you take the emotion out of Bitcoin, when you take the emotion out of Ethereum, when you take the emotion out of Shiba and Doge and all Litecoin and Bitcoin clients and all these other things, when you take the emotion out of it, then maybe you can see where it's going. Hey, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. So you have to look at this. Most people, let's talk about, you know, you know, people who look at shoes. They look at some shoes and they're emotionally attached to something. They look at a pair of glasses and they're emotionally attached to those glasses. They say, oh, if I can rock these reading glasses, then people will see me at a certain pace because I have these reading glasses, because I have these shoes, because I have this car, because I have this house. People will look at me a certain type of way, um, how I'm dressed, the cologne I wear, suited I drive, I said I wear, close your eyes, picture me rolling. Okay, y'all don't know that. People feel what they can't understand, hate what they can't conquer. I guess that's just the theory of man. Listen, you got to understand People are lullaby by things and the fact that you can't tangibly touch a Bitcoin, you're not emotionally attached to it. So therefore, you're going to make a decision based off emotion. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to buy the things you want to buy because it's going to be priced out of pocket. I, I want you to imagine one minute. I want you to imagine one minute that you have at least one Bitcoin. You kept buying little by little and you have one Bitcoin. Imagine Bitcoin is a million dollars. Uh, Bitcoin goes to $3 million in the next 10 to 15, 20 years. How would that make your life? If they allowed you the opportunity to uh, say, you know what, I want to start this business and you can borrow against that. How would that make your life? If, if you wanted to buy something and you wanted to buy asset, land, homes, whatever the case may be, I'm not saying that, that they're going to allow you to do that, but potentially, let's, I'm going with potential. What if? Now, I'm sure it's going to happen, but I can't tell you it's going to happen that way because they haven't said it. But potentially, it's not financial or investment advice, but potentially it's one to three million dollars. You got at least one of them, but you can borrow against that asset and you can do what you need to do. You can uh, make sure that your kid's college fund is paid for. You can make sure that your uh, family member who's, uh, you know, uh, in, in, in a home can go to your home and be taken care of. You can make sure that you can retire your, your grandparents or your family or your friends. This is not just about me. That's why I'm on here talking to you. This is not just about me. I'm not just on here blowing smoke and throwing it up in the air like LeBron James and saying, ah! I, I'm not, that's not about me. 